Hello, Kim Emerson. There you are, Kim. Uh, did you hear that BCTF president uh, making the announcement, Jim Iker, about the 99.4% voting in favor of ending the strike? Yeah, it's uh, it's not surprising. We talked about this yesterday a little bit. It would have been a surprise if uh, they hadn't had at least 80% plus. There were 10,000 teachers who did not vote. Does that mean they would have voted no? Not at all. But uh, it's an overwhelming situation. Teachers think that they could end this by agreeing to binding arbitration. The government has already told them that's not going to happen. But it was still a great move on their part to show to the public they're prepared to end this strike if the government comes to their way of thinking. That's not going to happen either. So more of a PR spin move when it comes to uh, just wanting to put it out there to the people. We are trying here. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Uh, he says it's the only way, the only way that this will work is for the government to agree to this. That's not the only way this will work. There's lots of other ways to make this happen and get a re resolution to this. Uh, one way is for the government to move on its position on wages and benefits and class size and composition. They've already said that's not going to happen because that wouldn't be fair to the other 150,000 unionized people who deal with the, the government. It wouldn't be fair to the people who come after the teachers, for instance, nurses who have a really good case to have more than a one or one and a half percent a year increase. So the other way is for teachers to move their position closer into what the government wants and has got with so many other people. The other options is if both sides moved a little bit, maybe they could get a mediator to come in. But we've already had a judge come in and look at it and say, you know what, you're not close enough for me to help you out here. We've had mediator Vince Reddy come in, look at it, say, you know what, you're not close enough for me to help you out here. And so we've got a real problem here. Both sides have dug their heels in. Neither side plans to move. And we are in this strike situation. And the sad part is kids are not in classroom being taught what they need to move forward in their lives to get an education, to move on to the workforce, to move on to higher education. None of that's happening right now. Indeed, and parents are so frustrated with this. Uh, we'll get back to parents and, and teachers, teachers and the frustration where Christy Clark is headed to the Hotel Vancouver. But first, back to the, uh, you mentioned the 150,000 other union workers in this province, many of them offering up no interest loans or in the case of the nurses just a no strings attached half a million dollars We're looking at eight million dollars in loans for the bctf what is that money all about why what's the motivation do you think behind offering up this cash well, it's support for the teachers. It's plain and simple. They're offering up any support that they can. And why wouldn't they? Because as we mentioned yesterday, anything that the teachers get, if they get anything above and beyond that one and a half percent, there are other unions who get a me too clause, means they get the extra two. It means that nurses then have a better starting position so that they can get more money. So it's in their best interest to do that. The teachers say that they will have somebody who will administer what they call emergency situations for somebody who's really down on their luck. They have haven't uh, budgeted well, they need some money to get through this strike, and they will loan them that money interest-free. So that's essentially what it's for, uh, but really in the long run, it's support for the teachers from the other unions to help themselves. To bargain their best possible contract yeah. now, so that will domino effect other unions. Kim, once again, you uh, add clarity to a very complicated situation. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be talking to you more over the next few days, and hopefully a resolution is not far off. Okay. Thanks so much, sir.